Hey travelers, welcome to the stream. My name is New Lead Traveler. I like leading travelers on new adventures. And we are continuing with Final Fantasy 16. So, Scordy87, thank you so much for coming in from Fiery Fam and being here. How are you doing today? Thank you for the follow. Greatly appreciated. Uh, so where we left off, we are about to figure out why Bahama is freaking out. And I have a nasty feeling we're going to have to fight him. But we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> How are you doing? We might be able to get up through the building. Hope you're having a good day. It's worth a try. It's good. I got off of work not too long ago. Have the afternoon free. Uh, so I'm here streaming. So it's good to be here. What? I'm really trying to wrap this game up before Starfield comes out. Because I tell you what. I am so excited for Starfield. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. It looks like it's going to be super promising. Uh, but I still got a decent amount to crank through on this game before <laughs> before I reach there. So I'm hoping, hoping I can finish before then. Is someone there? Oh. What happened here? He, he tried to take him from me. Screw you, oh, Annabelle. Man. That's all good, man. Well, thank you for being here. That sounds like a great time. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? There might be a time where multiplayer is involved, but I don't know how it would work without being super clunky like Fallout 76. So, at least for now, I'm glad there's no multiplayer. Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. Oh man, what a what a character. Honestly, you should just kill her right now. Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family. Oh face. man, she has this so, so backwards. Unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my life. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek. That I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land. Blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. And you he can go fuck yourself. For a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. What amazes me about With this Joshua is he's not even adopted. He's the oh. biological. Biological son of this woman. And she is just Elwin, such a piece of work. Was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment. Was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. You have no I room never to meant talk. To hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Yeah, you dumb bitch. Oh, did she get crushed? I hope. Oh, not yet. Joshua, wake up. I am 
a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. Let's go get him, Clive. Let's go get him. I'm so ready for this. Let's go. I didn't want to fight Bahamut, but I'm glad because it's going to be so epic. Let's go! This is so cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Got our priorities straight. We know what to do. Right, Joshua, coming into the fold. No! Ooh, spit flare. All right, let's do it. Let's go get him. So how do I use said split flare?
Yo, what's up, Monkey Debrassi? How are you doing today? How's it going? Kind of a weird stream. I normally don't stream on weekends, but I'm here. I'm really trying to crank through this game before Starfield comes out. I hope you're having a good day, sir. Is your grind for affiliate going, my man? You almost there? That's do no. okay, I can take it. Operate as Joshua now? <laughs> You're almost there. You are so close. Get him, Joshua. Let's go. Muhammad, why are you attacking us? You were on our side, man. What happened? Yeah, what capture card did you end up going with? It's actually a little bit of a hard fight, not gonna lie, I'm getting smacked right now. Okay, well, like I said, I recommend the Elgato one, but do what is best for you fiscally, and the rest will come into place. Ah, 
I don't even know where we are. God, screw those things. Why is this fight actually super hard compared to the other ones? It's beautiful though. It's beautiful. I just want to stop playing as the Phoenix and go back to Ifri. I'm working on it. Oh, did I die? Oh no. Man, that was actually a little difficult. Let's think about what I could have done differently. Uh, probably killed the thing sooner. Maybe I could just do them individually and that'll be better. Better strat. seems to be the better strategy right now. I'm working on it, like I said. Right. One more after this. We got this. There we go, got him. Ifri, if you could come back, that would be fantastic. Yeah, a boy, a boy, Clive. This is very beautiful.
steps right in the face. That's the best way to do it. Has to be staggered by now after this. Oh, <laughs> what? Did I have to go like directly behind him? That's so silly. That is so silly. What? The rules of this engagement make no sense. This time, this time for real. I got it. So like directly behind you. Does this count? Does this count? I didn't get a game over that time, so that's good news.
Oh man, how beautiful. Ah, chef's kiss. That was awesome. Thank you, sir. You know, minus the first two attempts, but besides that. <laughs> besides that, it was good games. We're gonna get our fourth mother crystal destroyed. Unless he ingests it. Oh, then he's gonna become. Don't let him drink it. Don't do it. Don't eat the Tide Pod. I knew it wasn't that easy. There's always more. I've been better. Actually think that was gonna happen. Two icons of fire. Looks like they're in space now. Just saying. Are you ready? Ready. We are literally in space.
Now, just when I think these fights can't get any better, they get better. Almost there. Almost there, travelers. We got this. Literally turned into a Death Star.
Holy crap, was that so intense. I didn't actually want to kill him though. That's the issue. I still think they're in space, so how are they surviving? Atta boy, Clive. I love how insignificant she became at the end. Joshua! Clive! Finally. Finally I'm reunited. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. I never dared hope that I would see this day. the feels done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. The mother crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. Don't have a headache. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Way to just Mr. Steal Your Powers. You 
Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is thus the Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Dali, man, go! Your Radiance. By the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not, the populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me. A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Sorry I'm not chatting much. Not another word, Dion. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not chatting much. This is just so intense. Though you may not see it. The darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. A small price to pay. Is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Well, that, uh, that kind of all went poopy and sideways, Theo. Gods! Gods! Father. Poor father. How he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. Nope, not about this. You planned this. You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go. 
Bahamut. Kinslayer. Holy moly. That was intense. Not again. Hey there, bud. Brother? It's a long story. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. No, no, they shouldn't. They should. Get away from me! This is all just a dream, just a bad dream. You will not take me, Shadow. You will not take me! Okay. Um Mother. Wow. I mean, she was evil, but damn. that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. I thought she was dead. That is your wish. Men. You are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. 
Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. Well, that was uh, super intense and super weird towards the end there. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. Curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. I just want my airship, man. That's all I want. see what Otto has to say. Sorry about that, Chad. Just did not want to be super loud. Right in your ears.
Trouble with the ledgers. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? All right, all the side quests now. Let's see what abilities we got from that, though. Ooh, Bahamut. I might have to replace that with Garuda for the time being. Really cool. Although the Kame Kame Ha is pretty dope as well. Just show me what it looks like. What does it look like? Yeah, we're gonna do this guy and this guy. Oh. Uh, I am four ability points from upgrading that. Not just silly. But maybe I can get rid of Gerudo for now. There we go. Just get rid of that one for now. So, Impulse and Giga Flare. Let's do those instead. That'll be really cool. Stop jumping. well enough when I last saw him. So many side quests. The pen is my tier. Oh, ten letters. All right. Hopefully it's nothing, but I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Greetings from the Crimson Caravan. I trust you and your party gain the dominion without further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. We might even offer a discount on our usual rates. Yeah, so instead of 10 million, 9 million. Ha! Cursebreaker Intelligence. Reports from our brothers and sisters afield are all the same. These accursed skies cast not only a pall over the land, but over the hearts of her people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the Dominion and the destruction of Storm's final Mother Crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each flood, do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is as ever dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's. Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. May the crystal's curse be broken. Quite the mess. Word out of Twinside is that there's little left of the capital after the Mad Prince's royal tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went tits up? 
I trust you did, but Astolas might be good to set Al's mind at ease. Theodore. So the Martell apples, Ambrosia's attack, and just the oath. Nothing else as of yet. But we got Jill here. That's what matters. Take time to come to terms with everything that happened in the Dominion. But time is the one thing we always seem to lack. That's so true, Jill. I. Hold again. Hold again. I always do this coming this way. Silly Clive. Silly Clive. Did you see the pair that got hauled into time? How many side quests do we have now? I just a few. Not too bad. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. What did I see? And I bet we got more on the hunt board now, too. How may I help you today, Clive? You can give me stuff for being a cool guy. Here you are. Thank y'all. All done? Yup. Did you get my letter? That's why I'm here. Shh. Otto won't be listening. <sighs> Is this better? Is this better? A little. Listen. I have some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. And it may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. Oh boy. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time and... Money? I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I would say. There you are. What a surprise. So let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Five million. Holy each. crap. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, uh, I must have made some. Sort How do you oversight that? Oversight. Those ledgers were my responsibility, and it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rosfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, We'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're going to make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How do you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dane? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark, asses to wipe and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here? 
two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. Well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Do you think so? No. No. I don't. <laughs> Outta boy, Clive. Clive! I'm sorry to drag you into this, Master Clive. It's, it's just I couldn't think who else to ask, and you're always so willing to help everyone. I'm sorry to drag... It's just... Uh, you off, then. Oh, what a light report. Do you? Anything catch your eye? Seen enough? Oh, darn, we got more. Yeah, we're going to come back for these ones. Try to knock those out. More side quests. Right on. Back again? How may I help you today? I have the details here. Study it well, Clive. She's going to be so pissed. It seems the hideaways lost it. Hoarded is knowledge lost. I have a few new notes that might interest you. There is a rather fascinating nice. excerpt I've been meaning to show you. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. Something's wrong with Torgal. So you can read. Congratulations. What a savage, Karen. Well, Come I on. Wrong with him. I said some that weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. Didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on summit else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? Or did you find a lady pup? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Lawsman, I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. 
She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within, and I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, he needs it something may well else. be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to provide mm -hmm. are no longer Makes sufficient. Makes sense. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Thank you, Hippocrates. Is a storm coming soon? Yes. There'll be thunder and fire and death and destruction and chaos. Seems the hideaway is lost. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? Not really, no. <laughs> this won't no. take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, that you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single-edged blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. That sounds so pretty darn sharp. No, nah, no, nah, nah. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. Sure a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. You're looking well, Karen. What you want? It just saw me, you dumbass. I want to know about the sword you show Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that, Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Best clients. Always in trouble. Shit ton of money. And him. likes to have you, fun. Oh. And he's a touch eccentric. If you take me meaning. I do take I you appreciate meaning. the warning. Now what can I upgrade? Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Oh, 
this is trash. Cannot find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Oh, last elixir. Nice. Is that all? I don't think I can upgrade anything anymore, but let's see. You ever wonder that bloody edge on it? What do you want? You to upgrade my stuff, man. That's what I want. Okay, I guess there is nothing you can do for me. I heard the Emperor was impaled on his We're all gonna die! You hear me? Just the man to help me out of a bit of bother. Oh, if you bother. Want to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Alembic. Lovely bit of kit, it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. I am the man for the job. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found now? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind bomb when they king. die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> If you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hump board for one just the other day. Well, perfect. I was going to so, go to the hump board next. Well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? All right. Well, chat and travelers, I will be right back. I'm going on a brief break, but I will be right back. Hang tight.
All right, travelers, welcome back. Let's see if we can go ahead and use the hump board to locate the Bomb King. Is there anything else to pick up? Nope, just the weird signs here, and then we can continue on our way. Some weird signs indeed. actually knock out a few of these hump boards that will probably be a good use of our time let's see about the bomb settings okay tier B that's not bad the croc and Sam Breck, a curse breaker aiming for the imperial chase took a wrong turn into a nearby wood Within which she discovered the ruins of a fallen airship. Ooh. And within them, a beast akin to a great ball of fire that chased her screaming from the room. The soldier later identified the creature in an almanac of echoes, but was firm in her insistence that the bomb she saw was near ten times the size of the one depicted therein. All right, let's go hunt it at the Crocs and Breck. Okay, so... Looking at what we got, nearby wood. Okay, so the cro I mean, that's that's really not useful, but we'll see if we can put it together. Yeah, yeah, you're not useful at all. Okay. Uh, fallen airship, croc, sand brick. Uh, well, hopefully we can find it from that. Why the fuck can't I travel right now? Cause I gotta do a main quest. Mother, mother, mother. There we go. Otto, how fares the realm? How fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. Oh, thank God! I was so worried. Past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. Mm, yes, quite. And Gav, he's with your uncle in the free cities. Helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Naturally. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition. Uh, yeah. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. Can I just fast travel, my man? Yeah. Fine. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? <laughs> It's me. To blame for the Hi. Fate. I'm the problem. No it's me. The actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. My countrymen are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. Yeah, that's the way, Vivian. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting That's what I always people, say. Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. I wasn't attracted to Jill, Vivian. History time. Let's get a lesson. Beneath these darkened skies. Fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. Or down. But not like this. Two to go. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And Yo, average game in death. My man, what's up? Cast nary a glimmer of light. How are you doing? The dark Thank you for coming in. Means a lot. It is only a matter of time before the common it's a weird weekend stream for me. I had the time and I was like, I'm gonna do it. Truthfully, 
is more than we can hope Stuck a damn work. Yeah, I worked from well, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. today. So I can get up early, apparently. <laughs> what I'm selfishly trying to do is finish this damn game before Starfield comes out. There's so many side quests. <laughs> Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do again, Dad? Paralyze the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. That's the goal. You stream before I do, right? So, like, if I got up super early, it would be even before my time. Like, what time do you start? That's right. Don't set anything on fire. That's what R.P. James the says. World, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was... So, I am in sand. the time zone that to people are like, what the away, fuck is that? I'm in a mountain time, or mythical mountain time, uh, which is two hours behind Eastern time, or one hour ahead of Pacific God time. Offend. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt. So what's interesting is I work in Pacific time, I live in Mountain time, and I tell my stream in Eastern time. Against those who would take what is theirs. Just to keep everyone on their feet. only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, if you there would be none to stop him. And how long do you go for? So if you start at 7 a.m., how long do you go for? Can I fast travel now, please? Ah, oh, son of a gun, son of a gun. If you go to 7 to 10, I should be able to catch a little bit of it. Because if you go till 10 Eastern, yeah, that should be good. Wait, have you been streaming recently though? Maybe, maybe I've been selfish and I apologize. I switched to morning streams. Um, but have you been going recently? Okay, okay, because I have been getting up early, so I could catch you before I go. And potentially, depending on how late you go, maybe, maybe I could raid out to you. If you go a little bit later. Because I have a hard out at a... Da, 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 da. I have a hard out once work starts, but work would be... God, all the time zone conversions, man. Would be 8.30... It would be 11.30 Eastern Time. Fingers crossed. Well, if you would want, I'm not going to stream it at all. Because it's not my thing, but I'd love to play with other streamers. Uh, I would love to play Fortnite with you, but like I said, not my thing. Don't want to stream it. Just want to play with other people. If you're interested. If not, no worries. Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Yeah, sure. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? Yeah, let's do it, dude. I gotta tell you. So, okay, the new season looks dope as. Looks dope. It looks good. Is a question the fallen might be better placed Apart from I. the skins are complete and utter trash. And on the the day, only good skin the is Ahsoka. The sun from the firmament, which darkness upon the I am a huge fan of Ahsoka. Huge fan boy. But, I dare say um, but besides that, I think that's the only good skin. I think the rest are trash. You well. you think <laughs> that Ultima was one of the gods responsible. Well... So like one yes, Star Wars day, I might have blown like four hundred dollars on her hilts, the like the actual Star Wars hilts to buy her. There is nothing divine blades. about him. Yep, I got those limited edition Wouldn't Ahsoka hilts. Of whom that could be said, now would he? And I actually have an extra figure of her. Yet for all the fairy tales that tell and the a Funko Pop, she is my favorite. Nothing in the way of actual. Did I say that? Had I the Journal of Moth the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas. So when do you get off work? Have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope. Certainly not. Also, I don't know if you've noticed this, uh, Even Dad, but it's been a weird time to stream. We it's been a super weird time to stream recently. I feel like 
with school uh, starting. More inclined to share his thoughts it's just been had to say. fluctuating all over the place with people. Okay. But what time zone are you on? Are you on Eastern? So you're almost done with work, the right? Martha's got a cash at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallamill. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, it fucking pours. The it curse fucking breaks pours. are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means, there's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. <laughs> okay, Jill. Slow your horses. We're gonna be on our way once we do a ton of side quests. Because now we can fast travel. Sorry, we got other side quests first. Well, thank you, Dad, for being here. I appreciate it, man. It's so hard being a streamer and supporting every everyone else who streams. So I never, I never expect another streamer, per se, to hop into my stream. But it does mean a lot when you guys come, so thank you. Um... I know life gets crazy, and there's a bunch of people doing a bunch of stuff, so... The fact that you're even here just means a lot, so thank you for that. Work? So yeah, I'm a dummy. I'm not really a dummy, but... I decided to pick up another job, so I work two jobs. Monday through Friday is my full-time and a weekend job. Uh, just because, you know, this economy, trying to get ahead... You know, you never know, but yeah, it's been rough. And uh, James and I, we've been going like at the same time. A little bit of friendly rivalry going on. Actually, there's no rivalry. I love him. Uh, I think we have completely different people anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm super excited for our collab stream, which is starting Tuesday. So every Tuesday, Thursday, we're going to be doing Baldur's Gate. Okay, let's go find this bomb cake. <laughs> Have you ever played D&D? Oh, then yeah, it's going to be completely and utterly confusing. I'm going to have to hold his hand while we go through it. <laughs> we're doing, uh, we're doing two classes that are interesting combined as a pair. I don't know if they're the best strategically, but it'll be a good time. A rogue and a ranger. <laughs> oh man, it'll, it'll be fun. So the Croc Sambrek. All right, that's where we need to go. Don't know where anything is. Nito, my man, how are you doing? I 
Also, Nito, I might only be going for a little bit more. Do you want to game up and do something after? I wasted an Ultra Ball and Poliwhirl escaped. No! Uh, so this is a bunch of croc. Where the fuck is this place? It's not there. Not the jaw. Yeah, Dalmechia, 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 Rosaria. I'm looking for Sam Breck. Come on. Yeah? Do you want to do Fortnite or do you want to do a uh, Tarkov? Might need a happier game. Fortnite might be the better choice. <laughs> okay, here's Sam Breck, but don't know where the croc is. So we're going to go here. So I got to level 10, so I'm only five more levels until flea market. Find Isabel. This is all useless. So we're actually going to go down here and see if that unlocks anything. I am not sure. I'm really not sure. Looking for the Bomb King. Whistle, yeah. Are you feeling better, Nito? Did you all make a full recovery? Good. I'm glad. Sorry if I sound a little bit out of it. I am still recovering from my surgery. Which I gotta say was a mouthful. Ah, that's your pun for the day. Hey, if we end up, hey, ever, or, you know, dad. Sorry, I'll just call you dad. If we end up playing Fortnite. Do you want to join us? We could, we could get a team of three going. Could be fun. A beekeeper was indicted after he confessed to years of stealing at work. They charged him with... Mm, that's not a good dad joke. Embezzlement. That's, that's, that's a little weak. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I work again tomorrow, but we'll see. <laughs> that's a good dad joke. Well, Dad, have a good rest of your day at work. Enjoy the time with your kids. And I will see you next time. Hey, listen. Yes, Nito. I'm here. What do you want me to listen to? Fuck, I didn't want a dragon. Jesus Christ. I keep doing this. 
Level 50? This beast isn't to be trifled with. Nope. Abort, abort mission. No, Clive, do not go towards it. Oh my god. I do you want me to try? I'll try and fail miserably. Uh I can I can certainly try. Look, I'm like poking it. You know what? I'll try. Just for you. Why not? It took half my health in one hit, so there's that. Three hits. Three hits. <laughs> I think you know what uh the final fantasy victory means but that was uh that was far from it okay so we know to avoid there so <laughs> oh my god that was awful maybe we can go over here and that's where it is that's the second s tier enemy i've walked into man i'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bail it's been brutal leave anything you don't need behind Wait, so Nito, are you back home now? Yeah, sure. Well, what would you rather do? Would you rather do Fortnite or Tarkov? Okay, how do I get over there, though? Tell me your secrets. <laughs> Start with Tarkov, and then when we get super frustrated, switch over. I like it. Come, I at least want to finish this one quest, and then we can go ahead, I'll come off, and then we can do that. I know you're all afraid, but now is not the time for shooting down. That's fine. I view Fortnite as a chill game. <laughs> it is a game where I can chill out and not stress. I got the Kamehameha now. It's pretty dope. What's up, bro? I'm a pickle. How are you doing, man? How's it going? Thank you so much. This is the amazing pickle. I'm good. I'm doing good. I am... 
recovering from oral surgery, so I'm having a good time right now. <laughs> but no, I'm doing good. I'm switching to waking up in the morning, doing that jazz, and trying to take note from you, amazing person that you are. Uh, the surgery? How was the surgery? It was good. It was it was a little trippy because I was fully awake for it. Um, which was a first. I've never had a surgery where I've been fully awake. Um, but it was good. Everything was successful. It went well. On my way to making a full recovery. Just have a gnarly asshole in the roof of my mouth. And like sutures all along here. But otherwise, super good. So I saw that you liked my comment earlier, Pickle, but I gotta ask, when does Arena come out? What do you think? What are your best guesses? As the resident expert in Tarkov, when will Arena come out? <laughs> and Pickle, I gotta say, you have been absolutely crushing it. It has been a pleasure seeing you grow and thrive and just otherwise dominate both in virtual reality and in real life. You truly are amazing, friend. An inspiration to all. Okay, where is this darn bomb king? He better be up here. He has to be up here. Something is up here. Really? Ah, horrible directions all around from the hunt board. Okay, so if you're not there... Where else could you be? Well, chat, I hate to be that guy, but I might actually have to Google this because this is a little silly and I don't want to run in circles. <sighs> I hate doing it, but when it comes to saving time, we're going to we're going to Google. Oh, the bomb king location. <laughs> oh look at that look at that inventory such a beautiful inventory <laughs> oh that is the dumbest thing okay it's like right here and then we go down that is that is a bit silly
Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Yoo-hoo. Big summer blowout. Where are you? all accounts it makes no sense this is where oh no gotta go up that way to the the croc yeah it's quite i didn't even see that as we were coming in It's gonna look so cute and innocent and then get super ugly and bad. That's how it goes. Fuss over a few dark clouds. All right, 
there, Sid? How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. You still there, Nino? <clears throat> Some time later. Hey, listen. Yeah, you are. The Telemon Malembic. So I'll jump on Tarkov after I turn in this quest and we'll go from there. Sound good? Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in? Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Olympic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah. I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Well. What do you reckon? It certainly feels more... V flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you. For supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Hi, so I'm just going to refill now. tonics, and I think that's going to be a time to call it. I was hoping I could actually increase that, so I'm glad I could. Glad I could. Is there anything we can do? So let's go get those potions, and then we are going to go ahead and raid out to someone. And by someone, I think that lovely someone is going to be the Gotham. The one, the only, the Gotham Monkey. An amazing friend, amazing streamer. Absolutely crushing it and killing it. I hope you'll give him all my love and support. He is truly someone that I admire. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Still alive, are you? Going purse weighing you down. Is that all? All right, chat. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Once again, my name is Newly Traveler. We're going to raid out to Gotham Monkey. I like leading travelers on new adventures, so thank you for joining me on mine. So now we will go ahead and send it off to another legendary hero. So make sure you show all your love and support 
and we will go ahead and go over there right now. Thank you. 